uh, hi everyone and welcome back welcome to my another video and in this video we are going to talk about data types in gs i mean we are talking about data types very late but this is also important sometimes we are not able to identify the type of a variable either it is object null undefined string boolean so understanding data types is important first of all what all data types we have in javascript so there is a list we have like six to seven different data types boolean number null undefined all these are types in javascript okay null undefined type of null is object type of undefined is an undefined so and what all non primitive data types these are the primitive data types non primitives are like wherever you have a array object uh, the regex expression these are non primitive data types so if i talk about them uh, we just put it here objects object rep represents instance through which it can access the member so it always rep uh, represents a memory reference similarly array array is also nothing but uh, another representation of an object and the regex expression represents the regular expression right and you also have a date which represents the date in javascript right date class similarly we have many things right so you might also heard about big int which is introduced in the es6 big ints are the new numeric primitive types which can store uh, large numbers and the capacity of storing i mean the largest number which you can store with big int is 2 to the power 53 uh, minus 1 big int type is numeric primitive type in javascript that can represent integer with arbitrary precision with big int you can safely store and operate on large integers okay null and undefined uh, there is always a question what is null null is empty and non existent value null must be assigned okay and you know like but always remember that when you just assign null it type of x will be an object but when you say let y y value is not defined so y you can see the y is undefined and if you try to just here the y is undefined and when you are trying to access it with the let keyword uh, the value of y doesn't even exist okay so it is same as like let y and you are trying to do console.log y then you will get undefined for this and you will do a type of y then it will give undefined because type is not even decided yet right so you can identify a difference between null and undefined with this simple example a uh, type of a variable which is undefined type of undefined is undefined type of null which always comes as an object and null and undefined are never equals okay when you do a double equal so if you just try to see this null not equal equal to undefined that is true but when you do double equals because it is comparing the value so they will be equal okay so let's talk about uh, a simple data types okay like what all different data types and how we are doing uh, with the type of that is very important to understand the different data types and type of i already have a list i will just go through them so you will also have a get clarity so it's a number it's a string it's a boolean undeclared value so undefined it's an object this is also an object this is a type of okay this is strange okay this is a string right so it's an object type of type of uh, would not compile and give us a syntax error because type of should be a function okay type of something uh, undefined undefined type equals to undefined so it should return this is going to return a boolean similarly we have a symbols as a new types in javascript so this is how it is going to work then type of number type of floating values also number type of 42 a number type of not a number is also a number so this is a strange and uh, actually weird parts of javascript not a number so type of this will be a number type of this will be a string all these are numbers okay and this is a begin 
so uh, identifying the type of is a good exercise where you are actually identifying what will be the type of so if you talk about type of function type of object type of array we have already seen so this is a function right this is an arrow function so type of function is a function function is also a type object is also a type those are actually non primitive types but there is a type associated with that okay regex type of regex is an object which we discussed no in the non primitive segment type of date is an object regex is an object and uh, all these when you are using new number new string that that these all are objects new boolean right it is an object number new number new string because you are using new keyword and converting that to an object okay further we can just uh, read more about data types uh, and their type of what all their primitive types what all are the non primitive types uh, regex expressions array object function date all are these objects okay in the next video we will talk about mutability how we are actually mutating the defined type or defined objects and how we can think of achieving uh, immutability there